YouTube. It's day three of Subaru Forester charity project upgrades, and it's tuning day. So the car's basically, we're going to see it now. It's had all the parts put in place. We had an intercooler, an SDI intercooler, second hand go in there. So, because originally we weren't gonna do that. So that's great. And there might be some other stuff we're gonna go find out, but it's dino time, so. Off we go. Off we go. In my, uh, in my sister's car today, um, because I let them take my car shopping. So the girls could go for a little shopping trip. So me and Matt are ripping around in the GDI. Oh, it's exciting, we're driving in. Let's go. Let's go see the Thubi. Oh, look, 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 engine brake, engine brake. So the new turbo. Yeah, new turbo, adjustable fuel pressure rig there. Got your blow off valve blanked off. Nice, <laughs> yes. And uh, oil intake. We, we managed to reuse that one because that one was still good, but we made the rest new. Yep. Push control solenoid. On the bottom, you got the, your IAT. Oh, dude. Link ECU, and then you got that shore shifter. So. Are the shifters in? Yeah, yeah, shifters in. There was an oil leak on the shifter seal as well from the transmission, so that's that's all been fixed because that was, that was quite a bit of oil. Okay. Yeah, but that, that's sorted. Back in the CV. Right. Oh, I really, it's so much like, oh dude, it's so good. It's so good. It's so funny seeing this thing with all this like professional shit on it. You know what I mean? Like this, this car, it's all like wired up on a dyno, hopefully about to make some power. I want to see that boost gauge like cranked. It's just funny seeing this thing on a dyno compared to like picking it up from Joe. That's in its element. This is what it was born to do. Look, we got the air muffs. Cables, we've got a little keyboard up here, gonna plug it in to a laptop, you're gonna see the guy. I don't know if it's Pat doesn't do it, probably. Whoever's gonna be in here, they're gonna be watching those temps, seeing those dials. You can tell I'm a real. You can tell you definitely know what's really happening. You know right? what I'm talking about <laughs> when it comes to this kind of stuff. You know? Very much into modifying cars myself. <laughs> my second modified car. And it's my first modified car. It's my first car in New Zealand. Technically, it's the first car. Is it registered to me or to you? To you. It's your it's car. Registered to me. It's your first ever registered car. The first ever car in New Zealand registered to me is this bad boy. I've never had a car registered to me before. Oh, that's exciting. Oh yeah. Look at the size of the exhaust. Runs. Now? Now? Alright, yeah. let's do it. So far, so good. Yep. Uh, the knock control is working, though, so we know exactly what cylinder is knocking, so we can push everything a little bit more. Yeah. I know that it's a high mileage car, yeah. so we don't want to push it too much because yeah. maybe even a little bit of knock is going to be too much for these pistons. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're just there, so if you want to hear some runs, yeah. we're going to start putting more boost on it, cool. see what we can get, and, and that's it. Okay, nice. Nice, let's do it. We can, we can push it a bit. Okay, we are seconds away from our first dyno run. Well, actually, it's been on the dyno a lot of the day, but now we're gonna start increasing boost. I'm honestly nervous. I don't, if it blows, like if something happens, it blows up. I don't mind too much, obviously we don't want it to. I don't know. I've never had a car on the dyno, so I'm nervous, but I'm excited. A lot of really cool cars, yeah. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's a pretty hot day. It's a couple of horsepower in the temp. What do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty warm. You know New Zealand summers? New Zealand summers are pretty hot. Yep. I reckon there's 20 horsepower in that. Oh my god, dude. I, I think it's gonna blow up. Every time it's, I'm like watching it, like just waiting for it to explode. Why 
180, yeah, 180 kilowatt. <laughs> the limiter sounds sick. <sighs> Keep cranking it up. Eighty-five. Okay. What? What do you think? Uh, it's done a jump, so yeah. We see that it's definitely a power increase this time. Yeah. You can, it didn't like it didn't stutter in the middle. It just went all the way through. Yeah. 195 kilowatt. <laughs> uh, getting closer to 200. Yes. That one sounded really nice. So this one he made an adjustment to the timing because yeah. he said ignition, so he's put more ignition into it. Yeah. 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 So now it's turning up more boost. Um, so power figures are getting more and more and more, and I'm getting more and more and more nervous. So. One ninety, it's twenty ps, twenty ps high, twenty ps high, and 200, nearly two hundred kilowatt. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so nervous. I'm sweating so much. My look, my lips. So nervous. No. Oh, the camera yeah, you. Yeah, thanks, bro. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a dyno guy, but that's a pretty clean line. I feel like that's a pretty clean line. I don't know. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished. No, I don't think we're going to make that much more, but we can definitely make a little bit more. So, we'll see. So, we're making like 275... Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the wheels. Yeah, something like that, yeah. To the wheels. Yes. Which is um, probably, to be honest, like 320 to the engine, I would say. 230,000 kilometers engine, maybe. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that sounds like a recipe for disaster. 230,000 k's. Hopefully the motor's not that old. Okay, good morning, YouTube. This is part two of Dino Vlog. We're going back in. Um, I haven't shaved my face. Apologies. I'm oh, in a massive rush because I'm late. Oh, my mum's been driving. My seat's really far forward. Whenever my mum drives the car, my seat is so far forward. So, as I was saying, it's part two of Dino Vlog. It's colder this morning than it was yesterday afternoon. So we're hoping for some big power numbers. Yeah, like three, four, five hundred kilowatt, I reckon. Yeah. Would be the goal. Basically, yesterday, the car, I mean, you would have seen in the video anyway, but basically the car was, was running fine. He, they were just basically incrementally, is it incrementally a word? Incrementally? Yeah, yeah incrementally, yeah. Incrementally increasing boost. It got to, they got to 20.1 20 PSI, and it was running 205 kilowatt to the wheels. And then he went to 20.5 PSI. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And then it kind of like... And then uh, he had a small drop in boost when he was doing the run. And uh, so he basically backed out of it. And then when he backed out of it, um, they went to check to see if like a coupler or something had come off. Everything looked okay. But we called it a day there. We decided to come back to this morning. I don't think we're gonna go much more and higher in boost, to be honest. But the feedback we got was that they weren't expecting anything close to 200 kilowatt. Well, they weren't expecting 200 kilowatt. No, they weren't. Another dip. You can hear it as well. You can hear it like, ah. I don't think it's something you will notice on the on the road. The ice. What it melts. 
melted by now. So the 227 with ice. What ice? We didn't have ice in the intercooler. Yeah, I mean we didn't have ice in the intercooler. No, that was just fun. straight here, right? Yeah. Dude, that's that's a lot of power. It's nice to have it though. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, I mean 227 looks pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, happy with that. What do you want to do? We've just got nice. well we've left Possum Born and we're at now Steven's house. We picked up Maddie Payne, two Matthews, and are currently arguing about who's gonna take responsibility okay, for that Peugeot. Who's taking who's taking ownership? Huh? It's who's taking ownership? It is a great car. Peugeot. Peugeot. Peugeot, Peugeot. Peugeot. not me. Nah, Matt Stevens can have it. No. Are we are we going or what are we doing? We're going to get tires for it. I think. Wait, I would buy that car. Like I said, I offered him, I offered him a grand for it. I'm going to start it up and hold it straight on the limit. The limiter is the best part. Dun, 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 dun. How's your flight back? You came back from Australia. I did. Yeah. The last night it was like five hours, six hours delayed. Oh. Ridiculous. Is that what you got back this morning? I landed at like four thirty. No. Like five, and I left at like twelve a.m. Australian time. Oh, to anybody of you, I mean, a lot of you will know, but to anybody who don't know, Matthew Payne is the most recent supercars race winner. Adelaide, yeah. what's the Adelaide race called? Adelaide? The Velo. Adelaide. The Velo Adelaide 500. Did okay. I start it? Yep. Pretty good, eh? This is so loud. The funny thing is, none of the noise is Yeah, I, just, there, just, I was just going to say that. It's right all in the here. middle. Yeah, it's right in the middle. The old Peugeot, 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 to um, Jury Tires to get some new tires, and not, we didn't think about shouting out Jury Tires because we're not sponsored. No, we're not sponsored or anything. But no, basically, didn't. we didn't bring another car, so now we're just stranded in Jury. Jury's a nice place, though. Yeah, no, but we you got trucks. To wait like an hour for the car to be fixed, so we're just standing on the side of the road. Waiting for <laughs> mate. I literally said, why don't we bring another car? No, 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 we way more fun if no, we all go on the No, but it was Peugeot. funny. Seconds later. We, 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 right. broke, we broke down. So we had an issue. We had an issue. Basically, this car, there's a the key is actually stuck in the ignition. So what happens is the immobilizer comes on when you're driving, and it kind of just shuts down. So we've we had, uh, a, we had a slight panic because we thought we'd lost the other key, yeah. which normally helps the immobilizer. So we'll um, let's leave the bonnet up, see if it starts. Give it a crank. Oh, I'll give it a crank. Oh, it's not going. Have a check out the motor move around with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Attempt two. Uh, over the, the, the door. I definitely think we should do the open cone. I'm prepared to, to what invest. What kind of a brand is this open cone? I'm prepared cone? to cane in, mate. Oh, is it like the ones we usually buy? On the yeah, yeah. Do you reckon it'll fit? Maybe. Oh, the ignition was never turned off. What? It's just not. That's, that's, something's going wrong there. <laughs> we were in business. Oh, we fixed it. Yeah, we're good. good. <laughs> that is so loud. Yep. Alright, right, see you home. We're out here at Cartsport, Auckland. Cut some laps. It's like 7.30, or is it 7? Uh, 7, 6.55. 6.55, so it's like. It's Caleb's first full day in a KZ.
How's that? How's that? I'm knackered, man. I'm knackered. <laughs> You're an athlete, mate. Come on. <laughs> Meant to be. <laughs> How's that? I'm so tired. So tired? So tired. I smashed my arm on the sparkle. Tonton, 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 tonton.